There's a law in Florida, the wrongful death statute, which governs every death as a result of someone else's negligence. There's an exception in that, that if you die as a result of medical negligence and you don't have a surviving spouse or minor children, children under 25, then you have no case for pain and suffering or for the loss of that loved one or that person. If that same person got hit by a commercial vehicle, then the adult children could recover in the event that there's no surviving spouse or no minor children. And there's no logic in that. The newest issue in Florida is there used to be a cap on the wrongful death damages you were allowed to recover in the event of medical negligence and the cap was $200,000. This firm, a lot of firms around the state, fought that and about a year to two ago the Supreme Court of Florida threw that out as saying it was arbitrary, there's not a medical negligence uh, epidemic, there's not a problem with the medical negligence cases uh, and they threw that out and now someone who dies as a result of medical negligence can recover the same, except for that other provision, uh, any amount that a jury decides is fair. The Seventh Amendment to the United States Constitution provides that every citizen in the United States is entitled to a jury trial. Uh, most people don't realize that. Everybody concentrates on the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, or the First Amendment, the right to free speech. But the Seventh Amendment gives every American the right to have a jury trial. Uh, and anything that challenges that, any bar to that, anything that makes it harder to get to a jury trial violates the United States Constitution. My name is Joe Kalbeck. If you need more information, please call me at area code 305-476-7400 or call our firm, Colson Higgs Edson, at the same number. Or feel free to visit our website at colson.com.